So as you may know, if you've been following me over this last like 18 months or so that I've been doing YouTube, I uh, highly recommend the Armodilla Tech cases. They're great, they're really, really protective, offer function, and just really do a great job without breaking the bank of not breaking your phone. So a quick rundown on these cases. Um, they have a rubber frame with a hard plastic shell that goes around the back and they also have a separate face frame. So a lot of these rugged phones, you just throw them in and there's nothing to protect the face. These actually have a face frame with a built-in screen protector. They also work over your uh, tempered glass. That's how I've been using mine. It protects my tempered glass. Everyone might say, oh, you should take it off, but why? Got double the protection. Doesn't matter then. Hard shell, they have the kickstand at the back, they have the rubber buttons, and they have the uh, the cover over the lightning port. These things are what Otterbox are, but at less than half the price. They offer as much, if not more, protection. They look good, and they come in some really cool colors. I'll show you these now. I'll go through on how to remove and put the case on, because some people can have some trouble with that. I know a couple of people who have, but I'll show you how, it's easy. All right, so with all Amadillo Tech cases, they're easy to put on, but kind of tough to get off, but not tough enough that you can't get them off. And that's a good thing, you don't want your case falling off everywhere. But to put these on, it's super simple. So, you get the front piece, here's the front frame. It does have screen protector built in. It also works with, I have a, a tempered glass on my 11 Pro Max here, but by the by, so it works with that. So you take this, make sure your cutouts at the top here are aligned with the cameras on the top. Super simple, rest it on the top, and then just give it a firm push and you'll feel it, it hear, oh, you'll hear it as well kind of clicks into place so that's it it's clicked into place iphone's in the, the front piece we then take the back piece so it's got the rubber around the sides so you take the back piece what i would do with this easiest way i find it is i put it into the front section first so top end first so cameras up I push it in like that. Then what I would do after that is I push, I swing the, the phone around obviously so the cameras are towards me and I push down and that allows those corners to drop in. Now what you will get is the rubber seal isn't up over the lip to the actual um, face frame. So what I do, I take my finger and thumb and I literally just press like this all the way across, all the way across, including the corners You'll hear them kind of click sometimes. Thumb the corners, same at the top. That's it. That is my Armadillo protected iPhone 11. Can't go wrong. Oh, so let's talk about removing these. Like I said, they're a little tougher to remove, but that's what you want. So obviously on this case, let me just show you. Has your speaker ports, has the port to cover the uh, lightning connector. So everything's safe inside there. Got your, your buttons there. And like you saw in the other videos, it does have a stand, so it's great for when you're watching movies. All like when I'm out with my kid and he gets a bit frustrated, I can throw Netflix on and he can start watching one of his dino trucks or whatever and he can just sit there. So anyway, let's talk about getting this thing off. So once you've got this, I go from the bottom. So, because the bottoms have got a little bit more of a give on it. So I just rub my thumbs over and then I pull out one corner first like that so you see that like that one side is lifted and then from there sorry that's a kid's toy going off but from there i put my fingers around the bottom and i make sure i pull that out and then i just pull done so that's the back plate off for the top plate look at people tweeting me people are tweeting me my well, name review guy and adam johnson both good guys if you don't know them go follow them Go find them on Twitter. Firm push in the corner. And that'll release one of them, like so. I put my thumb inside, and I literally, there you go, it's off. No damage to the phone whatsoever. Doesn't scratch the rails, doesn't do anything. And that's your Armadillo Tech case off. If you want to change it up for other colors. 
So what do I think of the Amadillo Tech cases? Um, I love them. I've been doing them since the Note 8. In fact, I think I was the first person to throw my phone in an Amadillo Tech case. That was the Note 8. The video is in my videos if you want to go and see. I literally launch it over my shoulder outside while I'm talking to you on the camera. People got pretty excited about that, throwing a brand new Note. But guess what? The case lasted. So these are a really good deal on Amazon right now. I'll put links below so you can go and get them. They come in a plethora of colours, like I say, I've just got a few here to show you which is which. My favourite colour is the blue, but I think the black looks great with the Midnight Green iPhone Pro Max. Why do they give names to this year's iPhones that sounds like a sanitary towel? Oh, come on, maybe we'll just call it the Tampax Pro. Anyway, whatever, go on there, these blow the Otterbox away, you get the same protection if not more protection. Carl, the guy who creates these cases, is really receptive to any comments or any help. He's really good. You can hit him up at Armadillo Tech. They're, they're quick to respond. You're going to save a bunch of money. You're going to get that protection in a case, and you're going to actually love it. And the fact that it comes in these really bright colors also makes it a lot more desirable. So, yeah, I highly recommend Armadillo Tech. Go grab yourself one. Thanks. Thanks.